CV. Okay, CP and CV. Okay, first we will see. Well, first we will take about the CV. Okay, what is the CV? Specific heat at constant value. At constant value. Okay, if you supply energy to the system, if you supply energy to the system, it is using in it is used internal energy at which temperature? Oh, sorry, at, at which, which, uh, which point? Constant value. Okay, if you supply, if you supply some energy or if you supply the heat to the system, it is used, it is using internal energy. So, what happened? DQ. DU. Equation number 1. Okay, next one. CP. See here, if I supply some heat energy to system, okay, some is going internal, internal energy and external work done by the system. Okay, then what we can write? DQ I am supplying at which um, constant pressure. Okay, some is going internal energy, DU. That's why. Okay, and external work done. Then what you are writing? DW. So, how many equations you are getting? Two equations. So, this is the first equation, this is the second equation. dq is at suffix v is equal to du. So, what happened? dq suffix at v is equal to du plus dw. Okay, if you observe above equation uh, equation 1 and 2, then what we can say simply this is cv. Yes or not? This is cp. Can I write the cp greater than cv? Seeing only we can tell. See, suppose let us take here. 20 is there. Here also 20 will be there. But here plus is there. Due to that what we can say CP greater than CV. Okay. Next we, I am going to tell about that. Next what is the relation between CP and CV. Okay. Or else you will get this um, in the exam. Um, okay. Prove that. Okay. Okay. You may get question in the exam. What is the relation between CP and CV? or prove it four marks very very important okay what is the relation between cp and cv or prove that cp minus cv is equal to r okay proof statement okay proof let us consider let us consider one mole of gas let let us consider one mole of gas in cylinder at pressure P temperature T okay let us consider one gram of so let us consider one gram mole of gas in cylinder at pressure p volume v and temperature temperature t okay now i am going to do the relay uh, um, pressure p volume v and temperature t okay in the on the gas there are two cases will be exist okay first one what is that first one okay on the gas the gas at okay the gas at constant volume gas at constant value gas at constant value okay if gas is at constant 
value then what happened that uh, if you supply energy on the gas if you supply energy gas on that what happened dq is equal to, what is it d if you are when the volume is constant automatically it is used in internal energy this is the equation number one but already we know the definition what is the specific heat at constant volume from specific heat at constant volume what we know already what i said cv is equal to what i can write 1 by n dq by dt at this v okay from the equation number one what we want actually dq v we need actually we are having this is where n is equal to 1 mole two moles like that we can take okay if you observe equation number one what we need actually dq we need here it is actually here it is there then what happened cv dt is equal to dq v Okay, substitute equation. See what happened? Equation one, equation two. Substitute the equation two in one. Two in one. What happened here? DQ V is equal to how much is there? DU is there. Simply I'm writing. What happened? DU is equal to how much is there? cv dt this is the equation number three okay next second case we will go to the second one okay if you supply heat on gas at constant here what is what you have taken previously value you have taken now what do you take you have to take the pressure heat is supplying gas heat supply on the gas or gas is at constant pressure and then what happened dq p dw so this is the equation number fourth so that pressure is constant the energy is going in internal energy and external work done if volume is constant only internal energy if pressure is constant internal energy and work done okay next according to specific heat at constant pressure what is the formula cp is equal to 1 by n We got the equation 4 and equation 5. Okay, substitute. Then see, dq is there, dq is there. Simply substitute dq value in that here. What happened that? So now we are having the equation. See, all of you observe here. See, at constant value. This is just at constant pressure. So we are having these two equations. So equation third and equation three. So here, what is that value? Is there du value? Is there du is equal to what we can write? Cv dt. Here, what is the next one? Du is equal to what is there? Dw equal to Cp dt. Okay. Next, can I write the du is equal to here from this equation? Du is equal to Cp dt 
minus dw. Okay. Now, if you equate the equation third and sixth from See, LHS is equal to what is there? Sorry, LHS is equal to, uh, here two sides are there, LHS and RHS is there. What is the LHS? DU is equal to CV, DT. Here what is there? DU is equal to CV. Okay, in the place of DU is equal to, uh, in, the, in the place DU, how much is there? CV, DT. Can I replace here DU value? Then what I can write? CV, DT is equal to, what I can write? CP, next, DT minus DW. Okay, next. Bring this down this side, take this from this side. Then what happened? DW is equal to CP DT. Okay, see what happened? Simply replace. Okay, bring the DW this side. Negative one, what happened? Plus. Then if you go this side, negative. So here which term is common? T CP minus CV. Which term is common here? DT is common. Then which equal this is? DW equal. Okay. But according to we boil uh, or we know that that is uh, P uh, DW is equal to how much we know? Simply substitute. PDV is equal to CP minus Okay. This is the seventh equation. PDV is equal to CP minus CV DT. Okay. Next, we have to find that DV and D. If we eliminate this, then we can get our answer. So, from ideal gas equation. What is the ideal gas equation? PV is equal to NRT. Okay, we won't consider here n. Why? Because n is equal to n mole. So, what is remaining? PV is equal to RT. So, here, what are all constant here? What happened? This is P. If you do the differentiation with respect to V, next, R, D, T. Next, equation number 8.